Just to describe emotions-wise, seeing Kyrie put that shot off and how they will get going. Yeah, I mean, it was uh, a lot of smiles in the locker room. And I'm going to go back one possession, uh, Megan, where 16 seconds on the clock, I think somewhere around there, he penetrates to the middle, hits Utah in the corner for the corner three. Uh, and then for us to uh, – w- what happened was I really drew up to play for Kevin. We knew they had a timeout uh, a foul to give. Drew it up for Kevin. Kevin communicated that they're probably going to trap him, and so we switched Kevin and Kai. Uh, Kai was ready for it. He said he wanted it. Zipped him to the top, and uh, – he did what he does. It's unbelievable. Great shot. You told me before during pregame that poise was going to be really, really important. How would you describe the poise that this team showed you tonight, especially with being down 18 late in the second, middle of the eight, number one, and you have an amazing third quarter and then still can fight forth? Yeah, it's unbelievable. I think that was a huge little stretch for us uh, to get to 10 at halftime. Uh, I thought we felt good about ourselves that we didn't play very well, we could play harder. So uh, then we came out in third quarter and really responded. I, I think thought to, you know, you give wards out for different segments of the game. Nick Claxton was unbelievable in the third quarter. His ability to contain the basketball, to uh, protect the rim for us. To, uh, he contested a shot from uh, Van Fleet at the top of the three and then came all the way back to rebound. So um, a lot of good uh, from a lot of guys. You talk about a lot of good. I mean, Nick ends up with six blocks. Yeah. You two coming in, having a great shooting night against his, his old team. And you just talk about, I guess, how many different parts had to go in to getting a win this tight. A lot, Brian. You know, I think uh, end of the second, I think I subbed all five guys out. And so uh, we went with a new five, which was we hadn't done that really before. Uh, we we're just trying to find guys who was re- ready to compete and play hard. And we finished uh, the uh, half going only down 10. Uh, it's tough to find the right combinations. That's going to be the, the equation. You know, Seth doesn't play as much. Cam didn't play as much. We rode TJ a little bit. When Small at the end took Ben out the game, Utah hits the, the corner three. So uh, it's definitely a puzzle. I don't mind uh, messing around with it throughout the course of the game. Great challenge. But guys are always ready to play, and that's, that's what we want to get to. Your number's call, be ready to play. Jack, we've obviously seen him do it throughout his career. What is it about Kyrie's personality that allows him to say, hey, I got it, and then take the shot and drain it? He, he definitely has a inner peace and poise that you have to have at that situation uh, to not panic. Uh, and um, he has an innate ability to get to his spot. Uh, and um, he wanted to rise up. He created space with balance, uh, and to be a guy of his size, to be able to do that against bigger guys, smaller guys, um, pretty innate. It's tough to sweep any team any year, especially in two months. How would you describe the challenge of what you guys just yeah, it, more, more than physical, Nick, the mental piece of that thing of not coming into this game, because we've seen them in different forms. Uh, and so for us to answer the bell in all those forms, and tonight, easy, Trent Jr. doesn't play at the beginning of the game, so are we going to relax even more, knowing OG's not playing? Then Van Fleet comes out and is playing unbelievable. They have a lead. How are we going to respond to that thing? Uh, so to take a team like this who is world old, play hard, make you react, uh, for us to, to um, I don't know, to get four games against them, pretty impressive with this group. I hope they, they realize how impressive that is from a mental standpoint. What 